Good afternoon. Um, I'm still on the mend. Um, dog bite was a little worse than I thought. And the antibiotics that I'm taking are just wreaking havoc with my system. Um, not on painkillers anymore. But I'm, I figured um, I'm not going to go out and traipse around in the woods right now. Um, these wounds are still open. So I, I have to degas this to get this ready for a uh, for an uh, NRL 22 competition coming up. And to do that, because of this, I'm having a really hard time cocking. I'm going to have to uh, switch this over to left-handed. I am a lefty. Um, I pretty much always cock right-handed because in the Army, um, our bolt-action rifles were all right-handed. So I could degas this, just screw a degassing tool in the back, and that would take care of it. But I figured, what fun is that? I've already got 30 shots out of this, out of this full tank. And I'll probably get another 30 out of it. And I have three magazines here and plenty of pellets. So uh, I'll just introduce this. This is my uh, my Benjamin Marauder field target. It's a uh, Turkish walnut stock. Just a really, really, really nice gun. And uh, these are almost like cheating. Um, when when you're used to a Springer, these are these are really easy to shoot. They're not very hold sensitive. Uh, I have the Athlon scope on here. And I'm just going to do some plinking and share it with you guys. And uh, hopefully, well, all I can say is hopefully, um, Thursday's video or probably Sunday's video is going to be another hunting scenario with the Beeman R9. So, let's go ahead and get started. Well, ah, I guess it's zeroed. This is really hurting my arm. <clears throat> Now for competition, I will have a level on this scope because rifle can't matters quite a bit. Rifle is a lot of fun to shoot. Not very challenging on a range like this. But when you're hurt, you're hurt. The marksmanship fundamentals still apply. Okay, that magazine's got to go. Make sure I don't end up taking that to a rifle match. Cool. 
As you can see by the, the targets, the flappers are starting to go up like they're supposed to because the energy has gone down. Okay, that is 50. No, it's not quite that. I thought that was 50. Let's go ahead and see if we can just shoot that one back down. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, that's a total of 60 shots that I've put through this tank. And we are, we're just now getting down to the yellow. So we're down to eh, probably 950 PSI. And that's pretty good. So, like I said, I'm guessing I'm gonna shoot for Sunday because I just don't think I'm gonna get anything done for Thursday. Um, I, I really want to get out and do some more hunting scenarios. I'm going to work out some more on the Beeman R9. But, uh, you know, there were two, dog, two big dogs fighting. And uh, somebody needed some help getting them broke up. And uh, I jumped in to assist. And that has a cost. Uh, fortunately, no human was hurt other than my arm. And really, neither dog was hurt. So I guess that's good. Okay, guys, this is going to be it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. See you next time.